losing radius on this thing. It goes backwards. Shoo, forwards. Hey everyone, it's Ashley here with Fleet Feet, and today I'm gonna walk you through the Thule Urban Glide 2. It's a stroller from Thule. I've been reviewing with my son Soren, who is six months old, so just the right age to get into this stroller without a car seat. And I'm gonna walk you through why I absolutely love this stroller. about a running stroller unlike some other types. Oh look, dirty diapers. Awesome. It folds. To me, this is pretty compact, but if you're used to a different type of stroller, you may feel like this is pretty cumbersome. The cool thing with Thule is that you can press this button and remove the wheel. So if you need more space, if you have like a lot of gear in the back of your car, you can actually take off the wheels to make this a little more low profile in the car. Okay, so we're going to take it out. I wouldn't say it's super light, but it's also not incredibly heavy. It's very easy to put together. So I have my hand on this little turning, this little section here. One fell swoop. Open it up. Awesome. So now we're ready to go. This little throttle here is what you use to fold the stroller up. So you push it forward and then rotate it back. And that's how you're going to fold the stroller. This little flap covers it up. Nice and cushioned for the baby's legs. All right, so once you get the stroller out of your car and you get it opened, make sure that you put the brake on before you put your child or your dog or your cat into the stroller. That's very important. First of all, we have really nice grip on both sides, and I really like how this is narrower than some other strollers. So when you're running, you can still focus on your form and keep your hands in line with your body. Really easy handlebars to grab onto, and the grip is really nice too. The second feature that's really great on this handlebar is this button here where you can rotate them depending on how short or how tall you are or just kind of where you want them when you're running. So I can get them all the way down here. Very low. Or all the way up at the highest height, we've got them up here. Way too high for me. The third feature on the handlebars, we have this strap for you to put one of your arms through and that's just in case you have a runaway stroller. That way you're not you're still attached to the stroller even if you let go if something were to happen. That's a safety mechanism. Now my absolute favorite feature of the handlebars on this stroller is the brake. The reason I love the brake, it's a single feature in the middle of the handlebars to help when you're running downhill. And why this is so easy, if you think about when you're going downhill, all you have to do is pull because the brake works by pulling upwards. Moving on to the awning. So this pulls all the way forward for sun protection. And then another neat feature here, if you want to unzip this, you get a little bit of extra movement there so it can go down slightly lower. But the really cool thing is this added mesh paneling to help with airflow. You'll also see on the back here, let me loosen this up so you can see it better. This magnetic closure opens here for some additional mesh paneling, just more airflow if you are out on a warmer day. Moving on to the top of the awning is our second flap with magnetic closure. Again, you see that UPF 50 plus rating for all this material. You open that up for this nice skylight so you can see down in there, see your little munchkin, they're having snacks, enjoying the stroller ride, making sure everyone is happy. The most important thing of a stroller ride is that everyone in the stroller is happy. One of my most favorite things about Thule strollers is the interior, like actually where your child's going to sit. And that's because all of the straps, like the closure system is really soft and the seat itself is soft. And this was an update, I believe, from one of the earlier glides is all the cushioning that you see inside the stroller. So the straps are comfortable. There's a waist belt that comes around and these will strap into here. These are also really adjustable. So you see now these straps are on the smallest setting because Soren is six months old, but they can go all the way up to the top. The stroller is rated for about six months to four to five years. So that gives you an idea about the age range that can fit inside of the Thule stroller. All right, a couple of things you can do with this front wheel. So the first, there's a dial right here that you can move in order to true the front wheel. And I think that's really helpful when you're running to ensure on those longer runs that when you're pushing the stroller forward and you're going straight, that you truly are going straight. That's gonna help with reducing any side to side motion of the stroller and then just your energy output over a long distance. So super helpful feature there. The second thing is this knob that you turn to unlock and lock the front wheel. When it's unlocked, the front wheel is in swivel mode like this. When it's locked, the front wheel cannot swivel. Why would you care if your front wheel can swivel or not? 
if you're running faster, locking that front wheel is going to help to ensure that you don't have wobble in the stroller and just to make the entire ride a lot smoother and safer. So back and underneath the stroller, this is something common with strollers, of course, um, is this little pull tab here. You bring in these sides and you can push this forward to raise the seat higher. So if your child wants to be in a more upright position, or you can pull this all the way back so they're almost laying down. Back here in the back pocket, a mesh pocket for extra things, a nice little storage compartment. We also have a zip pocket here where you can slide a few things in. There's a lot of storage underneath here that you can unzip. Oh look, you can put all kinds of things in here. It actually fits a surprising amount of gear. And I really like it because you can zip it up and Velcro it shut so if it's raining, things stay nice and dry and things are hidden if you're out and about and you don't want people to see what you have in your stroller. The Urban Glide 2 is one of a few strollers in the Thule lineup and it's versatile, it's good for walking around town, it's good for running, and it does have a fair bit of suspension which makes it also usable off-road. While I wouldn't take this stroller on like any type of gnarly trail, some light gravel or dirt roads are going to be just fine for this stroller. Like I said before, make sure you put the brake on.